interestingly enough, you can actually convert that uh, that amazing emergency blanket into a superhero cape. It really looks fabulous. We we pulled that off at the the last co-op. Um, I threw it on Keith's back. He was just he was ranting and speaking his truth, and it just um, added kind of a majestic cloak-like experience to what was a very spiritual concept uh, re regarding our. our, our um, coab. So we, the coab is a police brutality euphemism. So um, there are some terms I want to bring into this discussion that I have trouble with. I was a philosophy major at one time, so we would discuss and discuss language and words, and I keep hearing them over and over again. It's psychic driving propaganda. I'm hearing social cleansing, and this really unfortunate term, poverty pimps. And what you got to, I don't like this language. It's not sophisticated, it's, it's gritty. But when you hear that, you've got to hear the pain that's in that. I don't know, that well-spoken gentleman back there, well, there were a few of them, me too, but the other one, um, they, he, I don't know what's his salary. 35 years and we're not through this homeless epidemic. I'm 38. So um, this is, to me, it seems like we're keeping the poverty going because of the poverty industry. And the whole notion of social cleansing, um, when you bring up your, your favorite philosopher, what was his name, Niccolo Machiavelli? I wouldn't I mean, say he's my favorite philosopher. But I mean, you are aware he's proto-fascist, and when you quote yeah. him, a lot. We could have a very interesting philosophy lecture that would go on for hours and hours discussing that. But it comes as a slap in the face to the community that has seen your draconian regime of Stalinist um, arrests of activists, arrests of homeless activists, as um, an attempt to gag our participation in the process. So um, you guys probably never wanted to be a camp leader of a sort of a camp vibe. And um, as a consumer of poverty services, I can say sometimes they're not working well and that I'm frustrated by the socialism of the Northwest. We don't seem to have a vibrant capitalism that's actually doing anything. We need people in the Oregon State Legislature making brilliant laws like California has to provide relocation services and rent control. And um, the police have said they need any help they can get to have a police astrologer sort out their personnel problems, so I will volunteer and I can consult experts. Thank you. Like to be next. Uh, good morning. My name is artist Laura Vanderlyn, and uh, um, yeah, on the 